This is a story I've wanted to tell for a long time. It's a story of the Vald Jugend, uh, which literally translates into forest youth. And so these are the kids I met in Usla, Germany. They are some of the most amazing kids I've ever met in my life, and here's why. First of all, anybody there, six years old, 60 years old, boy, girl, doesn't matter, you've got a knife and you know how to use it, safely. Um, secondly, these kids can build things, amazing things. See this table? That was made by some of the kids. See this little uh, spit they've made to dangle their pot over the fire? That was made by the kids. The fire was made by an eight-year-old who also created the fire pit out of sand. See this metal spoon slash fork? This was forged by one of the kids. It's a work of art. This tent that we're staying in, this giant yurt, was assembled by those kids by cutting down logs and, you know, setting them up and tying the canvas to it. That was made by these kids. Third of all, the kids don't whine, ever, about anything. We went on a six kilometer hike and none of the kids had any problems and then it started pouring rain. I saw one guy with like little curly bushy hair and he's sitting there holding his arms, shivering, but smiling. And uh, Wendy explained to me that the whole idea is yeah, you're, you're wet now, but you'll be dry later. I mean, you know, it's fine. And all these kids, are they're just tough. Fourth of all, they're great cooks. They make great dinner. They know how to cook over a fire. It's fantastic. Nobody gets burned. But not only do they cook together and eat together, they celebrate together. Okay, let's do that. Let's do the words. We're all here. Bitch words. You, the food words. Do you mean beer? You know what I mean. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, okay. This brings me to my fifth and final point. Not only are these kids practically indestructible and super capable uh, and self-sufficient, they're caring. They're just one big giant family and they take care of each other but they will also take care of anybody else. Uh, say, for example, some Canadian kid who is effectively really, really lost and only knows enough German to order a coffee. You know, they'll make sure that that kid has something to eat and a place to sleep and uh, somebody to play frisbee with. <laughs> I was only there for three days and uh, they made me feel like I was their brother that they'd known forever. And honestly, it, it, was, it was hard to leave. But if this is the next generation of Germans, that country is in extremely good hands. Thanks for everything, you guys. Thank you so much for treating me like family. I, I really needed that. And you will always have a place at my campfire, a place to sleep in my tent, and something to eat. From the same pot with the same spoon. <laughs> See you in Canada. Now, I was thoroughly amazed and I learned a lot from the Waldjugend, but that doesn't mean I didn't teach them anything. Uh, on a try. Uh, we're gonna do BAM on try. Eins, zwei, try! BAM! BAM! <laughs> awesome.